Good morning, sir or madam. My name is Julio, and I am with the OTA department. How are you doing today? That's good to hear. Today we're going to be administering a MOCA test. This test will help determine if you have dementia, which could lead to Alzheimer's disease. Let's get started, shall we? This MOCA test, the first thing we will do is try to identify these animals. Do you see anything that looks familiar? Can anyone tell me what this is? The following animal? The third one might be a little difficult, especially if you're not from the New Jersey state area. Can anyone identify that? Moving on. There's going to be a couple of words and phrases that I would like you to remember for later. Paper, highway, green, kindergarten, and violet. The third part of the test, I will ask you to keep track of every letter C that is mentioned. J, R, G, C, H, S, P, B, G, B, C, C, H, R, A, G, C, E, H, Y, S, C, G, E, S, C, G, C, C, H, P, H, J. Did you get all those? Great. In this fourth part of the test, I will ask you for the odd number from largest to smallest. Without looking at your phone or asking your neighbor, what is today's date? The following step we're going to do is draw a clock 27 minutes past 2 o'clock. For the following portion of this test, I will ask you to please copy this 3D prism. Okay. For the eighth part of the test, starting at 100, subtract 6. One of the choices given is correct. Can you find the correct answer? For the ninth part of the test, I will ask you to recall the words that were asked of you to remember in the beginning of the test. Do you remember what those words were? This last part of the test, if you had difficulty recalling the words that were asked of you to remember, there is a multiple choice portion. See if you can pick out any of the words that you might have missed or not recall. This concludes our MOCA test. How did you do? Do you think you might have dementia or a form of Alzheimer's? Please consult your physician if you feel this is right. Thank you again.